Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful, early fall Indian summer day here in the end times in paradise along the banks of Iron Creek on the slopes of what's left of the Mount St. Helens volcano in Washington state. It's actually guys, Wednesday morning, September 27th, but we're going to pretend, I'm going to take some YouTube poetic license and pretend like it is Thursday morning, September 28th, 2017, heading to 85 degrees here in, uh, in Washington State on September 28th, but Thursday morning is when you're all depressed collapsitarian just sits around and whines about his poor, poor, pitiful me life for any of my fellow depressed collapsitarians who just want to sit around and listen to it. And today's whine is going to be on some level part three now of my uh, a depressed collapsitarian sort of whining about friends. The subject of friendship. I got my little friend here in my lap. Uh, and before I launch into this rant, we're talking about friendships with our fellow humans. But anybody who is depressed, whether you are a collapsitarian or not, and do not have a dog in your life. Trust me, guys. Uh, get out there and get yourself a little rescue dog. Anyway, uh, and you will have the greatest friend that any human could hope for, but I'm not here to talk about dogs. I'm here to talk about my fellow humans. So, kind of, you know, part one of this, wasn't so much part one of this wine, you know, I, I mentioned what, I can't remember how many days ago about how I'm thinking about wanting to start uh, one of these intentional communities or unintentional communities as the case may be, you know, trying to find a group of like-minded friends, a small group of like-minded friends, you know, to start one of these little eco villages whatever word you want to use for them uh, and in that rant I was just talk mostly talking about the like-minded part of it how just trying to find if you're a depressed collapsitarian eco Nazi just the like-minded part of it good luck but anyway, I'm not going to repeat all that. This is not an, so much an eco-Nazi rant as a depressed collapsitarian rant because just setting aside the virtual impossibility for eco-Nazis to find any human being in real life on this planet that shares their knowledge and truth. Uh, we're just going to talk about friendship and this has been on my mind uh, for the past couple of days way too much on my mind after this I don't know if you saw this rant I had on Monday uh, about this friend of mine I, I mean one of the certainly in the top 10 friends in my life probably in the top five friends in my life. You know, someone who I have known for over 30 years, just a, a couple of days ago, just flat out fucked me over. Just out of the blue. Th th this woman uh, j just flat out fucked me over. Th this is a woman who I've known and loved for 30 years. Who I, who I have respected, and most importantly, what we're going to be talking about is trust. I, I, I trusted one of my fellow humans 
uh, just trusted her. And she just flat out, and just out of left field, came out of nowhere and just stabbed me in the back. Just, just fucked me. And, 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 and I, my jaw has been hanging open for two days. And it's just like, you know, my God, Hambone. If we'll call her Lulu, I've had rants about Lulu before. If Lulu, if Lulu, what, what, one of your most trusted friends on this planet that you have ever made in your entire life would just flat out fuck you over. I, I mean, who the fuck do you have in your life to trust? And I'm down right now. I am down to, and, and I'm talking in my real life friends, real life, long-term friends, I'm down to three people out of a planet of seven and a half billion at this point who, who I could trust. Just, you know, what, what's the term, got your back, Hambone? You know, it's just uh, it's, it's just a sad statement of affairs, and I've just been thinking uh, a, a lot about friendship, as, especially that this has been a real reality check uh, on this whole thing about trying to start an intentional community, which which implies a community of people that I don't even know probably from here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, you know, that's that people I've never met, I, I, am, am I going to be able to trust somebody like-minded or not uh, with, with, with this shit storm that's building on this planet, I, am I going to be able to find a group of somewhere between 3 and 12 of my fellow humans uh, on this planet that, that I can trust to, to do something like this. And, and, and after this blow on on Monday from one of my most trusted friends, you know, th this has just been a real reality check. That, that you can't trust fucking humans. You know, it's, it's really made me look at the three people on the planet that I do have left uh, that, that I think uh, I can trust. And, and just thinking, I mean, can I, can I trust these three people? Much less anybody that I just meet. And so I've, I've been thinking about a, a lot about friendship and uh, what, what really, what, what is the definition of friendship? And, and what are the elements of, of friendship? I've really boiled it down to three elements. When, when you really boil it down, I have come up with, and this has to be mutual, okay? Mutual, meaning for each other. You have to have, well, obviously, you have to have some affection, just some general native affection for uh, the person. Uh, you, you have to respect that other person and they need to respect you would be element number two. And, and number three, and this is the hardest by far, by far is to, to have a true friend, you need to be able to trust that person. And that person needs to be able to trust you. And, uh, so I'm just gonna gonna look at these three briefly, mainly centering on trust. Now affection, uh, well, well affection just is. It, you know you can't buy love, as they say. You, you can't buy affection. Affection is or it isn't. Uh, you you meet somebody and you click. You have chemistry with them. Uh, you know, this is either the easiest or the hardest. When you have it or you don't, it, it, it's that simple. I, I mean, you have it pretty much from the moment that you meet a person. You either, you, you either click or you don't. You, 
you like them and they like you, or, or it, it happens or it doesn't. There's not a goddamn thing that you can do when first getting to know somebody. You know, that's up to the universe. So it is or it isn't. Uh, now, of course, the problem is when you feel affection for that person and they don't feel affection for you, but, you know, it, but it is or it isn't. Uh, you know, does this person energize you? I, I can't remember, was it, was this Carlos Castaneda and Don Juan or was this somebody else along the way uh, that I've encountered <coughs> talking about friendship? and I think they were talking about the affection angle, that a friend should leave you more energized, should energize you, should not drain you of energy. After spending, after visiting with a friend, you should walk away from the experience more energized than you walked into it. If you, if you find yourself with uh, with a person over and over and over again that's your experience with this person whether it be for 10 minutes or, or 10 years I guess that at the end of the interaction that over and over and over again that you have less energy walking out of the interaction with this friend maybe you should uh, reconsider the friendship. That a, a, a friend is someone who energizes you and does not suck your energy. But, but so many friends can, can turn into energy vampires. I love that term, energy vampires. That they just suck your energy. Uh, and, and, and this is a major red flag about a new friend or even an old friend because people do change. People do change, believe it or not, nearly always for the worse. Uh, so, it, so obviously if you have an energy vampire in your life, you need to take a long hard look at that person and see if this is the highest and best use of your time to spend with an energy vampire. I have uh, gotten rid of, in the past couple of years, I have just X'd out of my life, just edited out of my life four energy vampires. People who I felt affection for and somewhat respected, not sure I trusted any of them, but uh, at least I had two of the three, but I just noticed that they sucked my energy. And so I just cut them loose, you know, including one of my best friends, certainly in my top 10. I just had enough of her shit after knowing this woman for, for close to 15 years, I finally just said, darling, I can't take it anymore. This friendship is over. Uh, you, she was an energy vampire. And, uh, you know, I hated to cut her out of my life. But she's gone, and now that she's been gone for two years, this week, this week, two years, uh, that, that woman's been out of my life. Uh, I, I have to admit it's been no loss. So anyway, there's affection. And then from affection we get to respect, which is, which is getting uh, another harder and harder little uh, <clears throat> aspect of character. To, to find in a in a fellow human, uh, do you have basic respect for this person? If if you if you can't respect this person, and and, and they cannot respect you, then, then I don't see how can you have a friendship with with someone you have no respect for. 
and, and this is where met this whole thing of respect where, where this one gets ugly uh, as uh, as we all know uh, I've just been thinking about it a lot okay first you have your interaction with them I'm just talking about your relationship uh, can you respect them and can they respect you just about the way you treat each other and this uh, kind of ties into what, what, what happened on uh, on Monday there there's the the, the, the personal interaction respect uh, does this person respect you do you respect this person and does this person respect you and, and, and obviously the, the, the answer to this question has to be yes and when this person does disrespect you you have to say how big of a slap in the face was this you know on a scale of, of 1 to 10 uh, and, and how many times is this a pattern that you're noticing? And so it, it's like this woman on, on Monday, this was the first time in 30 years uh, this woman has pulled a stunt like this. It's completely out of character. Uh, but it was a pretty serious stunt. Yeah, just to fuck me over like this, uh, to flake out on me. Uh, but the, the harder thing is, and, and of course the example that I want to use is an example that I have uh, made a promise to myself and you that I would never talk about on this channel again. But this is an instance <clears throat> Not, not so much how a friend treats you, but just how they treat other people. Well, other people, animals, and the planet. But I'm particularly talking about how, if you have a friend, whether you're deciding whether to let this person into your life or you have already let this person into your life, and then you find out this character flaw in them gets revealed to you about that has nothing to do with you personally but you find out how they treat other people you you discover an aspect of this person's character that is just so repellent so deplorable that you find out that this person treats other people in this uh, in this way you've got to ask yourself well, well number one do I want to be friends with somebody who would treat another human being or or animal or, or the planet the way that that they have treated this other person and you just need to put a little question mark up in your brain how long is it going to be if, if, if they treated another person like that how long is it going to be before they treat me like that? And th this kind of plays in with a uh, w with one of the few real life friends uh, I have I have ever made on Humpty Dumpty Tribe but with someone that I met on Humpty Dumpty Tribe that I. Right, right when I was starting, and I don't know if this woman's listening to this or not, and if you are, darling, uh, I, I don't care because uh, you need to hear this anyway. Uh, <clears throat> so early in my relationship, 
with with someone I met in real life on Humpty Dumpty Drive, <clears throat> I saw this person treat another person, another Humpty Dumpty Drive's member, a longtime friend of hers, just absolutely just just treat this other person you know not in a very friendly manner and and I and I said from the very beginning okay hambone if if this person we'll call her Susie if Susie is going to treat is going to treat Mary like this and Susie has been friends with Mary for God knows how many years, how long is it going to be before she shows this side of her to you? And so, uh, while our friendship for the six months that it lasted, uh, th this woman you know, never disrespect to me. I, I knew it was only going to be a matter of time, which which is going to be the segue into trust. I never could trust this woman, and the reason that I could not trust this new friend is because I saw the way she disrespected a, a quote, real friend of hers. And I knew it was only going to be a matter of time before she displayed the same, uh, the, the same character flaw uh, towards me. Well, it took six months. It took six months. And thank God I didn't have any more invested in, in this person uh, than six months. And so, it, it is, it is, as much affection as I might feel towards this woman and, 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 and still respect her on somewhat and she's actually like-minded. She, she understands she's not a clueless moron. But voila, just as I predicted and, and just as her other friend predicted, uh, it would only be a matter of time uh, b b before this woman went off and voila! Gee, what a surprise! That, that one was real hard to call. I really had to be Nostradamus. <coughs> but it's, but it's obviously, guys, it's, 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 it's this trust. It, it, you know, just, just finding anybody you can trust to, to keep your back. Uh, especially as, as this as this shit storm unfolds on this planet and everybody starts to crack up as a reaction uh, good God a after what happened on on Monday I don't know guys uh, e e who the hell can you trust? As I said on my rant Monday, as Lou Reed talks about, you can't trust your own fucking mother anymore. Uh, that that you, you you have to go it alone. I can trust this little dog to have my back. Here here is the one person uh, on this planet uh, that I can trust anymore. Uh, in in in. It's just a sad statement. It's just a, it's just one more sad statement on humanity, and, and it's just one more reason uh, that that I am and probably always will be a uh, a, a depressed a depressed collapsitarian. That uh, I'm I'm down to three people, three people on this planet. Uh, that, that, that I can trust now and uh, and, and I just wonder when they're gonna fuck me over you know one of them is coming and one, one of the three people uh, 
These are all people who live in Austin, Texas. Two females, one male. This, this is the one man who I've also known for over 30 years, uh, whom I'm picking up at the airport on, uh, on, on Saturday, assuming he doesn't fuck me over. And, and, and I get a goddamn email from him on Friday night uh, that he's not coming. Uh, the one man on this planet that, 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 that I can trust. And, and two women in, in Austin, Texas. Uh, Jesus Christ. Friendship. Anyway, I've got my little dog here, guys. I, I've got my little dog, and who I guess I can trust. Can I trust you, little dog? You can, pop, you can trust me, as long as you feed me chicken. He would run off with, with the first person who, who, had a, who had a piece of chicken. Wouldn't you? Where's that pop? I'm going with whoever feeds me chicken. Yes. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap up this rambling whine. You do hear that chippy? I hear a chippy. Wrap up this rambling whine and get into this gorgeous day with my little dog. With my little dog in the end times, actually, I have... A, uh, a new buddy who's supposed to, the reason I can't do this rant tomorrow morning is I, I have actually the new, my new buddy that I've met right here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, a man so far I think I can actually trust. Maybe I have four people. Maybe, brother, you can be number four. Uh, you can take the place of the one I just lost, the number four that I just wrote off. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to do with this, uh, with Lulu now. It's not like I, I'm just going to blow off Lulu and, and just end the friendship for this. I'm just going to put Lulu in the same character, where, in the same category where I've put the other hundred so of my, of my lovable friends. And that's where, and, and, and this is true now of, of everybody except three people on this planet. It's, it's, it's not like I'm, gonna, I'm just going to write off a 30-year friendship with Lulu, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put her in, in the category of 97% of my friends. And that's that, you know, if the universe puts us together in the same place at the same time. If, if the universe wants us to be together, then I will absolutely enjoy Lulu's company, uh, enjoy hanging out with her, will hopefully be energized by her, but after the shit that she pulled on me on Monday, I am simply going to put no effort. I am not ever, for as long as I know this woman, and as I say, I can say this, for 97 uh, out of 100 of my friends on this planet, I am just not going to put any effort into, uh, into looking for this you know, into getting together with this woman. I, I'm not going to go out of my fucking way. I, I, I'm not, uh, you know what I'm saying. Just, if the universe wants us to visit, we'll visit. But I'll be goddamned. I'll be, I'll be fucking goddamned after this little fucking stunt she pulled on me on Monday. If, I, if I'm going to spend one ounce of my energy uh, going out of my way uh, to, to get together with her. And that, that's true of everyone except three people.
including my uh, my number one best friend in the world, my Trump supporting friend. You know, she voted for Donald Trump, and as far as I know, she still supports Donald Trump. And 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 believe me, guys, for Hambone Little Tail to sur to survive that, uh, to have a friendship survive voting for Donald Trump. Uh, we all have our blind spots. He, <laughs> he, even my best friend on the planet, the closest thing I've ever had to a soulmate, we all have our blind spots. So there is forgiveness. You have to be able to forgive your friends for just absolute grotesque uh, mistakes. So even I, e even I, with one person on the planet, can forgive voting for Donald Trump. But anyway, I've got to wrap up this rant because my best friend, my little dog, uh, has completely disappeared off the planet. I don't know if he's fallen off of this cliff or not, so I've got to go track down my little chipmunk hound before he gets eaten by a bear. I will, so I will say goodbye to this little whine. Bye, my little imaginary lovable friends on YouTube. Would you look at this gorgeous, gorgeous day in the end times as we head to 85 degrees in late September in Washington State. Bye, guys.